Hello, hello, it's your friend Doublebite. So you're probably as sick as I am of Star Wars The Last Jedi hot takes on the internet. Because boy howdy, there are some hot takes out there. And I tried to just be like, you know what, I made my two videos, I said my piece, but it's, it's about 1.30am and people are wrong on the internet and I just needed to whine. If you're watching this, you'll probably be like, hey, I have things to whine about too. Well, I'm going to assume that you're wrong and that my way is better. Anyway, moving on. So people have been, you know, talking about Star Wars constantly and it's frustrating because I watched it. I'm like, okay, that was a movie that did some stuff well, some stuff poorly. I actually saw it a second time on Sunday with Burb and I'm like, yeah, you know, the stuff that was good is still good. The stuff that's bad is still bad. And I was ready to move on with my life. But then... People have been just driving me nuts about this movie. Just really low-key about just certain things. So I just need to say a couple things. First of all, Phasma is dead. Or the movie cheated us. Right? You can't have it both ways, movie. Phasma fell into a fire fireball on an exploding ship. So we have two choices. Phasma is dead and the movie was stupid. Or Phasma is not dead. Finn's arc has less meaning than it already did. And the movie's cheating, right? Like, we don't know enough about Phasma as a character for it to be a satisfying return. So unless they make her a primary character in the third movie, which I would love, she's not going to be impactful as of this movie. So this movie has wasted Phasma. No matter if she's in the next one or not, they wasted Phasma. And she's not coming back. Like, I saw an audiobook in Barnes & Noble today that was like, just like a complete Phasma story. And I almost got it because I'm like, I want to know more. Anyway, just... Whatever. Gwendolyn has my heart. Anyway. So next thing. Like, another thing that I noticed is that why is the Resistance trying to reclaim the thing, the Rebels? Is the First Order going to start calling themselves the Empire? Like, it's stupid. We already have you. Yes, you're the Empire, you're the Rebels. We know this. This is already a thing. Why did they make it such a thing in this movie to be like, oh, now we're the Rebels? That's I don't know. Like, this movie wasn't that throwbacky to the old movies, unlike Force Awakens. Which people are shitting on, by the way. Damn. If I, had, I thought people liked The Force Awakens. Apparently nobody liked The Force Awakens. This is news to fucking me. Anyway, um... But yeah, it's like, oh, we're the rebels now because we're going to be doing intelligent things. And we're not the... We, we lost, so we're not resisting anymore. Now we're rebelling. And it's like, wow. Very encouraging. Next thing, okay. You can have a medium take on Holdo and Poe. It's possible. It's not, if you don't like Holdo, you're a horrible human being. Okay, that's probably statistically true. I'll give you that. Holdo should have told Poe the plan and then thrown him in space jail. What is the range of trusting someone where... You don't trust them enough to tell them a plan, but you do trust them enough to not go rogue when you don't tell them a plan. Like, as far as we know, okay, let's say all she knows about Poe is that he's a, um, a hotshot who just likes to blow shit up. And doesn't want to tell him the plan because he'll do something radical. If he's that much of an asshole, he's going to do something radical when you don't tell him the plan. He's not stupid. He wasn't made a commander for being stupid. So either you tell him the plan, and then he goes, oh, yeah, that, that plan makes sense. That plan makes way more sense than I thought you were, it was going to make. Or you don't tell him the plan, and you throw him in space jail. Or you tell him the plan, and then be like, listen, I realize that you think this is a good plan, but I don't trust you under pressure, so you're going in space jail. That's stupid. It is stupid to tell someone who is a loose cannon, hey, I don't respect you enough to tell you my plan. That's insane. That is poor leadership. Did Poe fuck up? Yes, Poe should not have mutinied. He should have trusted his superior officer that he just met. Well, he should have trusted her because, you know, he's heard of her and Leia trusts her and, again, superior officer. Whatever. Poe fucked up. Poe fucking up set off a chain of reactions that both completely destroyed the um, Rebels' plan and got the transports destroyed because of the um, Nino de Toro's character, and also, 
Um, you know, I lost my train of thought. Holy shit. Fucked everything up in passing and also gave us Canto Bite. Uh, I forget if I said this in my, uh, my other reviews, but I realized the things that were bad about this movie were things that were bad in the prequels. Canto Bite is such a prequel sequence. BB-8 in the eight, uh, in the Walker is such a prequel sequence. Like so, so much of the schlock was things that they should have learned from the prequels. I forget if I said that already. Um, another thing I noticed about this movie, and this is not less of um. Oh yeah, and also people who cared about Snoke and complained that there wasn't more Snoke. Well, okay, fine. There could have been more Snoke, but there didn't need to be. They either had to go all out or no out, and they went no out, and that was probably the better call. Because he's boring. He's bullshit. He's a plot hole. It doesn't make sense why he's like, oh, this all-powerful thing. But whatever. I am fully willing to just accept a lot of this movie as being, let's just throw out shit in The Force Awakens that we don't actually want anymore. Because sure. Why not? Movie. Doing new things. And also, oh God, movie. Okay, it's only, remember, self-sacrifice is good when Luke does it or when Holdo does it, but it's bad if anyone else does it. Because... You're not sacrificing yourself for the right reasons, apparently. Anyway, one thing I noticed about the movie on the second watch is that the characters... One of the big differences between the characters in this and the characters in the, in the original trilogy is that the characters in this don't really have agency, in a way. They don't really... They're, they're tied to their group and their bloodline, which, again, is kind of funny, given that that's, that's what this movie is arguing against. Like, when this movie is on point, it knows what it's doing. And then it goes against it at the other times. It's very weird. Like this movie's takes on heroism are very inconsistent. Again, Finn's sacrifice, the sacrifice of the pilots versus Holdo versus Luke. So it's inconsistent on what, sac what the nature of sacrifice is. But more than that, original trilogy, why is Luke helping people? Because of duty, because of honor. Um, Han's arc is going from I don't care to he actually does care about people, about things. And he cares about the people. He cares about Luke. He cares about Leia. Like, in this, we have... Finn cares about Rey. Okay. And that's his motivation in this movie. And then it, and then it goes to Finn cares about the resistance. But it's not like duty driven he's not like thinking now I care about the resistance more it's not like he's like oh the first order is actually really bad you know all the main characters are doing things for the resistance whereas in the original trilogy the rebels were a thing you know Leia was one of the rebels the rebel alliance was a thing but the main characters were adjacent to it the main characters were the outsiders working for this greater purpose so you didn't have to care so much about the organization. And I think that's some of the reason that this the ending of this movie fell flat for me is because I didn't care about the resistance. I cared about these individual characters, but like Poe didn't really have that much to do in The Force Awakens, I don't recall. I mean, he hadn't even met Rey, apparently. And just... You feel like the characters in the original trilogy are acting based on their growth, based on the previous movies, and based on their own personal motivations. Whereas in this, Rey is there. They even say it. That's the thing. This movie knows the things I want to complain about. Rey even, like, Luke asks, why are you here? And Rey's like, the Resistance sent me. And Luke's like, no, why are you here? And Rey's like, I need someone to teach me. That, that's what I'm talking about. The other characters are like, Resistance, I'm doing this because Resistance, I'm going to be a hero, I need to fight for the Resistance. And Rey's like, I have this personal thing. And like, they're kind of playing that Finn does. They're like, oh, well, Finn has uh, beef against Phasma. And like, Poe has heroism ideals and stuff. And he's a loose cannon, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, Rey is the one that feels the best. Rey has the best arc. And Rey has the most agency. Rey has the most purpose. And it's going to be calls itself out on the resistance is not enough of a purpose to, to drive a character, but then it has it drive the rest of the characters. It's weird. Movie. Movie, the things that frustrate me about you are things that you do well in other places. Anyway, uh, one final bit. Porgs are awesome. Um, just, porgs are awesome. 
I'm sorry. I don't care if they if you feel like they're prequely or not. They're they're adorable and they're they're fucking excellent. So there. Um. Yeah. Anyway, I just need to rant some more about this fucking movie. Apparently. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. Definitely not gonna see it a third time in theaters. God no. But um. I kind of want to rewatch the Force Awakens in the original trilogy and just kind of like reflect on them and even I'll watch the rewatch the prequels. What I've been thinking of doing is a series of videos where I review something after not having seen it for a few years, then watch it, and then do like a second half. And I think that could be kind of fun. Maybe I can get some of my friends in on this. But, um, yeah. Anyway, it's late. I have shit to do tomorrow. So until next time, double bite out.